Amy, thanks. Well, is loyalty worthless in the workplace? According to a recent article that was in Forbes magazine, employees that stay with the company longer than two years get paid, get this, 50% less over their lifetime. Experts add that the average raise an employee can expect this year, just about 3%. Now, while the average raise an employee receives for leaving, 10 and 20% in salary. So a big difference there. And joining us this morning, Rafael Restrepo. He's the Director of Business Development from Capilero. So, Rafael, good to see you. Thanks for coming in today. It's the first time we've had you on. And it seems like people get rewarded if, if they leave a place but you say there's much more to that absolutely and I think you got to look at the bigger picture right it's not only about a salary or a 10 15 20 percent uh, increase on salary you got to look at the benefits mm -hmm. you got to look at the time off I, I think you got to look at the whole package before you make a decision of whether you're gonna leave your current position and look for another one it could be very stressful to find a new position so I, got, I think you got to look at all the different factors before making that decision it's only about money and we've been talking about trying to cut down stress so I'm glad you mentioned that today and, you know I've seen so many of my friends take these jobs that look great on paper and there's not stability if you go to a great job and it's gone in a year everything's kind of unraveled on you a little bit absolutely absolutely and again one of the benefits you have for you know for staying with a new um, making a move to a new company could be that you can learn a new technology you could do something that you always dream about doing and having the opportunity to maybe be closer to home this is the magical question that I think we all face that how do you know when it's time to maybe move on to the next job I think if you're not happy what you're doing if you don't have that passion for it I think it's, it's time for you to make a move. I think people to uh, before having doing that maybe just having a conversation with direct supervisor and just tell them how you feel uh, as maybe there's an opportunity for you to move in a different department or, or do something that you always wanted to do are there things that could benefit you from I mean you've got pros to, to leaving and pros to staying what about if you're staying with a job uh, I mean you have the longevity of, of working with a company I think there's if you work for a small company you can have maybe uh, ownership of the company and a lot of times people don't realize if you jump from a from a job to a job every two years once you ready to make that move um, a lot of companies will look at it as a bad thing if you you know if you're making a, a change every two years I think the one thing people don't realize is certainly in our business too because they move a lot in our business just everything's different from from the health care to the, the policies to the format just the forms I mean it's stressful to uproot your life and put it somewhere else but even though you save money obviously not the only thing you should look at absolutely it's not again it's not only about money and looking for a job and making a, a change it could be very very stressful so I suggest people just look at the bigger picture before you actually look into to make that move because it's not only about a salary you got to look at all the different aspects of it do you have the flexibility of working from home I mean you got to look at everything yes. before you make that decision Some